How's it going guys? Dill the Artist here. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how I approach tackling sculpting lips inside of Blender using the sculpting tools. Now this method will vary depending on the race, ethnicity, and gender of your model. So everything's going to be a little bit different for everyone, but generally it's all kind of similar. Now with that being said, I'm going to be using a default cube so that everyone can follow along. And with the default cube selected, I'm going to press Control 5 on the keyboard to bring us to a subdivision level of 5. But now we just need to apply this. So let's go to the right, go to the modifiers tab, and let's hit this drop down and press apply. Or you can just press Control A, which is the hot key to apply. Let's press one on the number pad to bring us to the front view. And let's go to the top left and go to where it says object mode and go to scope mode. And quickly you see we have the interface for sculpting and on the left we have our brushes. So let's slide this toolbar over to the right so we can see the names. And it's really important to know the name of the brushes you're using so you can know what it's relative to doing. Um, and typically you're only going to use about four to seven brushes on the average. A lot of these brushes you never touch. And to speed up our workflow, we're going to toggle on our symmetry in the X axis by going to the top and checking on the X here. And next what I'll do is use the famous brush, the draw sharp brush. And if you're coming from ZBrush, this is the Damien standard or damn standard brush. You can change the size of your brush by going to the top left where it says radius, dragging the slider left and right. But that takes too long on average, so the high key for that is F on the keyboard. Now what I want to do is draw a horizontal line from left to right or right to left. It doesn't matter because we have symmetry on. And this will be the identification of the separation of top and bottom lip. So let's just draw out. And I'm starting from the center and drawing outwards. I'm going to draw another line about one third the length of this horizontal here. And this will be our chin. Now I want to press 3 on the number pad to bring me to the side view and I'm going to scroll down in our brushes and go to the um, lasso mask and if you guys don't see lasso mask here it will say box mask and you can just click and hold and select lasso there. And let's just draw around our lips excluding the chin and I want to press control I to invert the mask selection press G which is the high key for grab or you can use the grab brush here on the left side. I'm going to scale my brush up by pressing F and I'm just going to pull it forward. And with that being done, I'm going to clear the mask by pressing Alt M. And let's smooth out this transition by holding down Shift and drawing. And it doesn't matter what brush you have when you're um, smoothing this out long as you hold down shift. And now we need to add more resolution to this. So we'll press shift R to bring up our voxel size and we'll slide it to the right and go to somewhere about 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 and press control R to confirm and apply that. And what I want to do is hold shift and draw so we can smooth this out once again. Let's switch to our draw sharp brush by going to the top, selecting it, or you can set up some hot keys. I, I use hot keys, but I don't want to confuse anyone, so I'll just you know go to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I want to do is just you know better crease these these lines here and I'll drag it down. If you hold down control while using any brush, it does the opposite effect. So instead of bringing this in to a concave line, we're going to bring it out to make a convex. And this is the identification line for our lip, our bottom lip. And we'll do the same for the top. We'll hold down control and start to shape our top lip. Let's just bring this down a bit more. Capitalizing on this line here. Let's also work on the chin area as well. So let's use the same brush. Just draw like an upside down uh, V. 
and we can switch to our clay strips brush to build up on the chin. Let's use our draw brush here on the top. I'm going to create this nice concave section above the lip by holding down control and drawing. Nice and subtle, you don't want it too much. And we'll build up around the outer rim of the top lip so we can have that muscle tissue that we have here. And I do want to switch to the clay strips brush to do that. The clay strips is the build up brush. So we'll just build up this section here just slightly. Let's press F to change our brush size. Press G to go to the grab brush and we'll just form this to look more like a head shape. And we'll bring this top lip out a bit more, right above it. Now let's add some more resolution to this and then smooth it down. So what I'll do is press Shift R, bring it to about 0 0.06 or 5. Press Control R to apply it. And we'll just have to smooth out this layer by holding down shift and drawing. Smooth out everything. Now since we have more resolution, we can capitalize on a lot of these lines. So what I'll do is switch back to my draw sharp brush. Hold down control. Just outline these forms. I'll do the same for the bottom lip. And I'll let go of control so we can just have the draw sharp brush at regularly. Change the brush size so we can create finer lines. Just bringing this down here. And now we can add some volume to the lips so they're not super flat. I'm going to use the clay strips for that, the build-up brush. Just start here. And I like to start from the center of the lip. So if I'm doing the top lip, I'll start in the middle. So that will be our thickest point. And draw outwards. We do the same for the bottom lip. So from the middle, and it's a lot easier doing this when you have a pen versus a mouse, so we can control our pressure sensitivity. So this is looking good for our chin, lips area. We'll smooth this out a little bit more. We'll build up a little bit more around this chin just to capitalize on it. Even though I know this isn't part of the tutorial, it just helps when you have forms that you can use as a reference. So lastly, I'll show you guys this multi-res um, plane scrape. And this makes the lines nice and sharp. So if you're going with a more stylized look, you can use this for the outline of the lips to create that sharper and fine detail there. You can do the same for this area. Smooth it out by holding down shift and drawing. And another brush that's really cool is the flatten brush or the scrape brush, I'm sorry. And you can just flatten out a lot of areas.
and then you can smooth it out and there you guys go so this will um, change and vary depending on like I said earlier the race ethnicity and gender but overall it's typically the same so hopefully you guys enjoyed this you found it useful if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one